A, could you live with a pitch clock? And B, could you live with or without a shift? They're thinking about making changes to the shift. Would you like that or not like that as a pitcher? As a pitcher, I, you know, obviously I'm biased coming from that point of view. I think it's good for pitchers to have a pitch clock. You know, we've been taught for years, work fast, throw strikes, change speeds, put the hitter on the defensive, give him less time to, to think about sequencing, about what you're going to do to pick up certain tips that you might have. Uh, to, to remember scouting reports, uh, get the crispness of the game going again. And I, I, I think the, the pitch clock can work. I think it will be one of those things that once we get into it and once it's established and once the players adjust and the pitchers adjust, you know, it, it'll kind of just kind of blend in. It'll just seep right into the game uh, as it was before. And there's just too much dead time between pitches. And, you know, this isn't about strikeouts. This isn't about launch angle. It's just about hitter stepping out of the box, taking time, trying to disrupt the rhythm of the pitcher, the pitcher's taking time. You know, it, we'll, we'll call it a pitch clock, but it could be a hitter's clock as well. You know, I blame the hitters as much for, you know, stepping out of the box after one pitch, readjusting their gloves, going through their routine, thinking through the sequencing. You know, that's going to be a thing of the past. I think everybody will get better in terms of the pacing of the game. And when that happens, I think there'll be a residual effect. I think you'll be surprised that when that crispness comes back in the game, that sense of urgency that uh, the domino effect will be more than you expect. There'll be more balls in play. There'll be just more of a, an exciting brand of baseball, uh, certainly trending in that direction, in my opinion.